RuneLight has really enhanced the way people play old school RuneScape. From the quest helper to built in high scores, RuneLight helps players customize and fine tune their gameplay to exactly how they like it. There are now around a thousand plugins, so I assume a lot of you watching won't have seen them all or probably even heard of them all, which is where I come in because this week I've spent many hours finding some obscure plugins that can enhance your gameplay and experience. Today we're going to be looking at 10 plugins, but this will be a five part series as I have 50 to show you in total. So please subscribe for more of these videos coming in the future and please watch until the end because number 10 is one of the best plugins I have ever used. Just before we start, in case you weren't aware, we have the plugin configuration as the spanner icon in RuneLight. But to actually find a lot of these plugins, you will need to go to the plugin hub tab, which is the plug icon. And you can just search for the plugin exactly how it's worded in this video. Okay, so in one we have on-screen notes. Now, not everyone likes to have notes or goals in a separate tab, but what if a plugin enabled you to have them on your screen while you play? On-screen notes does exactly that. So once enabled, go into the cog to ensure the edit menu is also enabled. Here you can change the text and title color too, but to add a note, you need to just type in chat, colon, colon, notes, space, add. You then should be met with this screen where you can add a title, add text, and when you press enter, you will have a note on your screen. Do note the plugin says you can edit and toggle notes through commands in the chat box. However, this didn't work for me. So to edit or delete a note, hold shift whilst your cursor is over the note and you will see the options come up. Additionally, if you hold control on Windows or command on a Mac, you can move these notes around to wherever you prefer. In two, we have emote clue items. This is an extremely useful plugin, especially for Ironman. Emote clue items shows you exactly what items you need for every clue step in the game and if you have it in the bank. Additionally, it also shows every stash in the game, if you've filled it or not, what items you need for that specific stash, what resources you need to build it and the construction level required. It also has some really good overlays for the bank which is great for Ironmen because you can't trade on the Grand Exchange. If you need an item for a clue step, you wouldn't want to alk it for example and this tool can show you next to the item if it's required for a clue and what tier clue step. If we look at my black dehyde body and chaps in the bank, you can see for the black dehyde body, it's got red next to it, meaning it's needed for a master clue. My black dehyde chaps have got both yellow and red next to them, meaning they're needed for both elite and master clues. The plugin has a lot of customization in the cog section, so please adjust it to how it benefits you. In free, we have clue steps. This is a super simple tool and is just a visualization aid. All the plugin does is show you the number of steps you have completed on your clue in your inventory. You can also customize this in the cog section. Additionally here, you can add different colors for the likelihood of completing the clue. In four, we have supplies tracker. What a fantastic plugin. The supplies tracker keeps account of all the supplies you're using, which is a great way to really know how much profit you are making. It also categorizes them into different pots so you can understand exactly what you are using. I've been doing Wilderness Slayer this week, so you can see all the food I've used, the prayer sips, the cannonballs, teleports, a cursed scepter charges. The loot tracker plugin that most people have is great, but you never get to see the supplies used in order to get that loot. This plugin enables you to see that, and I highly recommend it to everyone. Five, Profit Calculator. Profit Calculator is a useful tool to check supplies against expected output. So let's look at two examples. Example one, I'm 99 cooking, so I will never burn anything when I wear the cape, which means I can buy raw food, cook it AFK, and then sell it for profit. So I can put into the calculator 10,000 raw anglerfish, and then output 10,000 cooked anglerfish, and see what profit I would make. Example two, Let's just say I buy 100 Ranar seeds and I'm going to sell all of the herbs I get from them at the end. My inputs would be 100 Ranar seeds, 100 Ultra Compost, and let's say it's 500 GP on average per seed for the teleports I use, so I will put in 50K cash. Cool, that's my input. Now, for output, let's say I expect around eight herbs per seed on average, so I would put 800 grimy Ranars and the plugin will now show me the profit I'm expected to make. Easy tool to use and very useful. In six, we have camera smoothing. Exactly what it says on the tin, just smooths the camera when you are zooming and rotating. If you look at how clunky my zoom looks without this plugin enabled, 
Now we enable the plugin, you can see the smoothness difference. You can adjust how smooth you want it inside the cogs too, depending on your preference, but just a small quality of lifestyle plugin, but I enjoy it and I think it makes my experience visually better. Another quality of life visualization plugin, the looting bag plugin will tell you in your inventory two things. One, how many spaces do you have left to fill inside the looting bag? And two, how much is your looting bag currently worth in terms of GP? This is super useful for me because when I do revenants, I try to bank every 15 minutes or if my bag hits around 800k GP in loot. So if I'm stacking some good loot up early on in the trip and it gives me that visual cue to be like, okay, I've reached my Andrew K now, time to leave. Yes, of course you can check your loom bag manually, but monster attacks close the interface, so it gets kind of annoying. And if you're on a cannon task where you're being attacked by multiple monsters, it's virtually impossible to check. In eight, we have logout timer. So usually you will log out from the game if you've been idle for five minutes. What this plugin does is let you adjust that from the minimum of five minutes to a maximum of 25 minutes and anywhere you'd like in between. This plugin is very personal preference for when it's useful. We all have different reasons or areas of the game where we want to be idle but still be logged in. So if you find yourself having to log back in constantly for being AFK or not having your RuneLock client open, this tool can help you adjust that to your personal preference. In nine, we have the default tab. As someone who likes to PK, this plugin is amazing for me. On Old School RuneScape, when you log in, you will always log in with your inventory set as the default tab selected. When you go PKing in the wilderness, you usually want to freeze or teleblock players, and the time frame you have to do this can be very small before they log out or tab away. With this plugin, you can set your default tab on login to a different one. So in this example, you would set it to the Spellbook tab, and when you log in, you don't have to worry about that extra click or F key you have selected, and it can be the difference between getting a teleblock off on somebody or them getting away. Finally, in 10, we have recommended equipment. Now, this plugin actually surprised me at how good it is. Like, I get there are amazing people out there who make these plugins, but this one genuinely blew me away, and you'll see why. So what recommended equipment does is it shows you the recommended equipment to use for around 40 to 50 bosses in the game. If you've ever used the old school RuneScape wiki, then you may have seen strategies on how to kill bosses, and it will show you, for example, use this helmet as the best in slot for this boss. If you don't have that helmet, this is the next best one. If you don't have that helmet, this is the next best one, and so on. I think this plugin does pull directly from that wiki. However, you don't need to go to the wiki to use it. So let me show you how it's used. I'm currently about to hit 92 Slayer on my main, and this will unlock the new spider boss, Araxor. So I want to kill this boss, but I also want to know what is the best gear for it. I just go into the plugin, find a Raxor, choose the way I want to kill it. In this case, I want to use melee as I'm 99 ranged and I still need to get my melee stats up. And then it will show me for every worn slot, what is the best items for melee in order. So if I were to click on the next slot, it says the Amulet of Rancor is the best, followed by the Torture, Blood Fury, Fury, and then Glory. But it gets even better. Are you ready? You may have noticed in the bank, I have an orange kite shield symbol in the top right. If I click on this whilst I have a monster selected in the plugin, it will show me every single item slot and all of the best in slot pieces, just like the plugin did earlier, but this time in my bank. It even shows items that aren't in my bank at all, which is insane. If we look at the next slot, again inside my bank, all of the amulets we looked at before are here visually inside my bank from best to worst. Absolutely amazing plugin, and if the person who created this ever watches this video, please leave me a comment down below because I do want to thank you personally. That's all we have time for for today, but like I said at the start, I do have 50 plugins I want to show you, so this will be the first out of five videos where we will look at some really cool and obscure RuneLock plugins you might not know about. So if you did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe if you do want to see more videos in the future like this, and thank you for taking the time out today. I hope one of these plugins can enhance your RuneScape experience. That's all from me. Peace.